All right, I will say I am a tidbit nervous about this one, of how it's gonna go. Good morning, modern steaders. It's nice 48 degrees out this morning. Oh, I love these chilly mornings in the summertime. You guys liking your pig palace or what, huh? Feed you over here. You've got over here disturbed pretty good. We're gonna have to move you in a few days. Look at that. They've been using the automatic water at Nippler too. All the hay over here is wet, so that's nice to see. Sounds like you girls want to come out. Morning. You drank all your water too. Everybody's got to get to the feeder first. Who's going to win? Huh, who's going to get the first alfalfa pellet? Uh, it was Blossom this morning. Alright, well, are you ready? Utter a good little wipe down. Squirt off the first. Spent some time last night figuring out how to get our ridge pole up today with our roof rafters. And I got all that set up already. So when we get outside the sun and start building the barn, we should be able to start getting the first rafter up pretty quickly. Babies want some milk, well, I'll get anxious. Good job. You want to come out? Ready to see mom? Little piece like, yep. Go see mama. Little piece like, I'll take some alfalfa. Oh, I think that means we're almost ready to wean the kids. Coming in, Hope. Traffic jam. You ladies survived the night. Switch it up this morning. We're gonna go over this way. We're not gonna know what to do. I haven't fed you girls over here yet, have I? You coming or are you getting lost in the grass? Good boy. Did you lose Pluto? Huh? Did you lose Pluto? Huh? She's moseying on along. The other day, Gina, Olivia, and I got the barn all sided. Today, we're gonna to be working on putting up the roof rafters and the ridge poles. And the 16 roof rafters per side that gotta go on. What I did, so we can try to do this ourselves, is I got a 14 foot long two by six up top on a T brace right here. And I'm gonna secure it to the center of this two by eight to hold it in place. So I have it marked right, get this out of our way, right here where center is. So I'm gonna take that, a couple of screws, One's gonna be good. And then I cut a shorter piece to go right here on center. Like so, and I wanna flush it in to the outside.
I started on the end with the platform. This way we have something better to stand on to get started. Layout starts out that way, going two feet on center. So I double checked layout, marked it all. We got all of our marks. Now we can get the ridge pole up. The ridge pole's got layout on it. All right, we got the drone up. We got a sip of coffee. Let's get the ridge pole up. For those of you that are new to the channel, we're building a post and beam barn kit that we ordered off the internet from jamaicacottageshop.com. I'll put a link in the description down below to their website. And I have a promo code that you'll get 10% off your order if you order before the end of June. I'll also put a link to a playlist right here of all the barn videos. Like it. I like it. I need, I'm thinking I might want to pre-drill these too, just to make it easier on us. So we don't have to fight it. One, flush it up, make sure we're good. Ooh, I like that right there. I like that. Let's get started. Boom. I got a good two plus inches into the four by four. Same thing down here. I need to flush it up. Let's get this one up. Get it pre drilled. Drilled. I like it. Nice. I like it a lot. I had my center ridge a little high, so I took out my brace. So now I can spread this down. There we go. Because I want both ends flush with the siding. All right, I like that. Bam. That ain't going nowhere. You have to do the same thing over here. Drop this down. Because if you see, I'm about an inch. Oh, not about a half inch away from the siding. That's because my ridge pole is too high. So the pressure is off. I want to make sure we're in our lines right there. Make sure we're flush. I like it. We 
got to cut our rafters back to here. We're going to be adding an eave overhang on on each side and we're going to be butting our roof lines up to meet. If you were doing the eave overhang and you were dropping the roof down below the roof, you'd leave the rafter long or if you weren't doing the eave overhangs, you'd leave them long. But we're going to attach them to the roof line so that way it keeps our outer edges of our roof the height of the outside roof higher where if we dropped it low we'd be like six inches lower on the outside this is an 812 pitched roof so we need to cut this at a 34 degree angle what we're doing is we're finishing up this cut and this is a 34 degree angle to make it straight The first four rafters that we installed earlier, I cut four of them first because I wanted to double check and make sure my measurements and everything were good. So we need one, two, three, four more on each side. Get some pre-drilling done, guys, while we're right here. You always gotta take time and have some coffee, enjoy the view, listen to the birds. Ah, so beautiful that into position. I like it right there. Boom. I like it right there, guys. Get our lines to go by right there. Let's make sure we're flush. We can go over a smidge. Just a smidge we can go over. There we go, I like that. Good. This one out a smidge. There we go. There, I like that. Back and I'm gonna toenail all of these after. There we go. All right, let's put this out here, like so for now. This is where it's gonna get a little more interesting since we don't have the platform to work off of. Alright, 
Oops, sorry about that. So I think the next best step is to get my ridge pole up here and get my bracket down there, get the ridge pole up on this, connected to this side, and then work my way. All right, I will say, I am a tidbit nervous about this one, of how it's gonna go. It's all attached there good. Now I need to get down there and secure it to Now I want to get up there without moving that too much. Okay. So now we need to come this way quite a bit. that so far. All right, let's get this in position. All right, that's good right there. I like the height of it. One more screw in. Okay, I'm gonna go below and secure that. They should have straightened out the ridge pole now. There, I like that. It makes me feel a lot better now. Whew. I like it guys, I like it. This way. I 
There we go, I like it. mark eight feet which is right here Close to the center, right there. Just like so. Boom. Throw one screw in here. Cool. Some screws started here. Guys, 
Last rafter. Keep it a little high. This will pour it, pull it down after. Perfect. That pulls it all together. Lock it in place. This way. There. It's nice and flush right there. Last one right here for the rafters. That looks nice from here. You did a good job, Olivia. Thank you. Even though I didn't build any, uh, you helped. Did the siding. You helped though. You helped yeah. with the siding and you flew the drone today. Yep. Here comes CW. Whoa. No. Hey pigs. Oh, look at the good job you did at Claren over here today. Awesome possums. How's your afternoon nap? Whoa, Jesus, run me over. Yep, they cleared all this this morning. They drink all their water. They either drank it or spilt it. Go get the chickens. Get the chickens. Get them back to NYC. He's got one. Oh. See if he comes back for the second one. There he goes. He won't. He won't get it. He'll just chase him back. Let's see how many eggs today. Doo -doo -doo. Holy moly. Look at them all. We're getting a white egg. And I have no idea who lays a white egg in our flock. Fifteen. Cool beans. Yesterday we got twenty-one. Something like that. And we got another white egg. Thank you, chickens. I will say I am glad to have the ridge pole and all the roof rafters up. I spent quite a bit of time thinking about how I was gonna do this safely by myself, and we got it done. I will say it was one of those times, you know, when you kind of like puckered up, you're a little nervous sometimes. It's a family channel, so we'll leave it at that. I think you'll know what I'm talking about. There was a few moments like that while I was putting up the ridge pole, especially the center one, but I'm glad it's done. It came, it went smoothly. Just a little bit of taking my time and figuring everything out. It's nice and straight. Now I'm glad to be on to the next phase. So just remember guys, if there's anything you want to do, as long as you put your mind to it, you use wisdom, you can get there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.